welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. For the past few days, I was getting lots of requests for this plane, the PC-12. So I thought of making a series of videos in which I will tell you how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly it on autopilot and how to perform an eyeless approach and landing. I will just give you all the links in the description. It's uh, one of the best uh, single engine turboprop plane available in the Microsoft Flight Simulator and it has a pressurized cabin so you can just fly it at higher altitudes. So um, let's uh, begin this video by removing the cover for the engine and the chocks and let's remove the spin for the pitot tube. That's it. You will really enjoy uh, flying it. The controls are slightly different if you're used to the Cessna 172. Obviously, uh, this uh, plane is slightly different and uh, plus the FMS is also different, but you will get used to it. So before I start this plane and uh, make the flight plan in the FMS, I will make the flight plan in the Microsoft Flight Planner. So if you're really familiar with that process, you can uh, skip the next part. Otherwise, you can just go through it. Now, this is the Microsoft Flight Planner and uh, you can just make the flight plan over here. First of all, uh, let's select the aircraft and uh, that's it. And now we can select the route. I will be flying out from Lahore and I will be going to Istanbul, a short flight. Let's uh, auto select the departure procedure. It's uh, runway 18 left that's been selected. I can always change the runway. I can use 36 right or 36 left, but right now you can see 18 left and right are being used. So 18 left is okay. I can just keep it like this. And then for the route, I can select auto route. Now in the red color, you have the departure procedure, which is the SIN. Then in purple, you have the rest of the flight plan. And uh, the green is star, which is standard terminal arrival. And orange is the approach. So now I will tell you in the plane then how you will enter all this information in the FMS. Uh, for the fuel and payload, this uh, plane actually burns roughly uh, 500 uh, pounds per hour in the flight. So to be on the safe side, I will just keep it at 600. I will be carrying extra fuel as I'm not paying it from my pocket. <laughs> and uh, you can change the units for the fuel in the options. You can have kgs, gallons, liters or pounds. So let's keep it like this. So roughly 1000 uh, pounds of fuel is required for this flight. So as uh, now I have uh, the fuel um, calculation and plus uh, the flight plan. Now I can just go in the plane and configure the FMS. As now we have the flight plan. So now we can start this plane. If you go over here on the overhead panel, you will see these two switches for the battery, battery one and battery two. Uh, let's turn it on. Now this plane will have some power and these three displays will be on in some time. This is the prime flight display uh, for the captain side and for the first officer side. And this is the navigation display. Now in order to get this display on, this uh, shows you the aircraft status and plus uh, any warning or messages. So just uh, first of all, turn on the avionics one bus and avionics two bus and then the standby bus. So once you turn on the standby bus, you will have this fourth screen up and running soon. Let's wait for it because uh, you can see the checklist over here. And uh, you can just go through all the steps in this checklist to start this plane. Great. Now you can see landing gears down, flaps are retracted, which is good. Just make sure that the thrust lever is also in the idle position. That's it. Now let's uh, go through this uh, checklist. Normal. And if you want to go back, you can click it again and it goes back. So normal before engine start. Avionics, master on. Parking brake is set. Standby power on. EPS test and then on. So this is actually the emergency power supply. It's there, as you can see the green light. And now on. That's it. 
Then uh, the battery switches, they are obviously, they're on. Let's make sure. Yes, they're on. Great. Landing gear is down. And uh, now let's set the fuel quantity. I bring up the tab, EFB, by pressing this uh, tab key on your keyboard. Go to the fuel. You can just go to this option from here, flight performance. And uh, fuel is already enough. As you can see, the fuel quantity is shown, 1,739. If you want to change it, you can just move the slider. And then let's say you can load it in the aircraft. So we have some good amount of fuel in this plane. As we are not paying it from the pocket. <laughs> so why it really uh, go for like 1,000? Let's carry some extra fuel. Now this uh, checklist is complete. Now before starting the engines, navigation light on. So you have uh, the nav light over here, on the overhead display, overhead panel, <laughs> not the display, nav light on, and uh, then the beacon on. Now as the beacon is on, you can go to this uh, gas check, engine master on. Okay, great. Now engine master, you can see this uh, switch, you just move it to run, and then you have the starter, just turn it on. It will take some time. Wait for this oil pressure to go up to 90 and then the propellers will move. Get rid of this error. And now the propeller has started to move. That's it. Oil pressure check. That's it. And generator on. So you have two switches for the generator. One and two. They're already on. The two is already on, but I turn on. The first one. Let's also turn on the fuel pumps. And that's it. Now as the fueling is complete, you can also turn on the no smoking sign and the seatbelt sign. Great. And checklist complete. Now we have some things to check before the takeoff, which will not be covered in this video. I will just do it in the next one, in which I will tell you how to fly this plane on autopilot. And now we have to enter the flight plan over here in this screen. This uh, has the FMS also with the navigation display. Press tab and uh, just bring up the EFB. So flight planner. I've already saved this uh, flight plan. I can just, uh, or rather, let me just uh, go back there and save it again because we have changed the runway. So it will be OPLA to OPIS, PC 12, 18, left. Because now we are taking off from 18 left. Because the previously uh, I used runway 36 right. So let's uh, load this flight plan. And that's it. Now you can uh, simply send this uh, route to avionics, but uh, just, just to show you how you can uh, configure the FMS, I will just take you through all the procedures. So if you go to this option initialization, it is actually a touch screen, but uh, you can also use these buttons on the left hand side, on the right hand side. So initialization, uh, you can see the time, then UTC, the date, and uh, the air rack cycle. And that's it. Now, if you go to this uh, option, you will see flight plan. Now you can import the flight plan, but this option is not working right now. Origin is already selected. You can select the destination, which is OPIS. If I press shift two, you will go to this view. You will see this keyboard over here. So just enter OPIS. and uh, enter now you will get this option insert and that's it now you will see this uh, arrow just uh, bring your cursor over here hold it with your left mouse key uh, or button and then you can just move your mouse up and down to zoom in and zoom out so now you have uh, the departure and the arrival i can activate it or i can further change this uh, flight plan over here so after OPLA, or before this, before entering any waypoint, because we have two waypoints, Akbar and Indic, 
let's select the departure so bring your cursor over here in OPLA click it and you will see departure and arrival let's select departure and departure is 18 left let's select it and you can see AKBE1E this is the SID now insert it now the SID is there great now just uh, bring your mouse over here hold it with the left mouse button and then, then you can just like scroll up and down so now Akbar is there this point you have to enter index so for index just uh, click Akbar because you want to insert after this and you can just like select amend and now after Akbar you have to go to index now you can also use your own keyboard instead of using that screen you can use it by clicking this option and then click over here again the color will change from cyan to magenta and over here you can type index now press enter and that's it now the index is there and after index there is a discontinuity i will delete it afterwards and activate now this flight plan is active and after index you can see there is a discontinuity let's also select the arrival uh, select opis and uh, for the arrival it's uh, 28 left i will select 28 left and uh, as i will be performing an ILS approach and landing so that's why i will select ILS y28 lift and uh, the arrival procedure or the star is nd one a let's select nd one a and uh, after index there's isdor and that's it let's insert and now you can see this whole flight plan is here and i can activate it great let's see if there is any discontinuity yeah so index is now appearing twice i can delete this uh, discontinuity just click it and delete waypoint activate and then let's see if there is any discontinuity after isdo there is discontinuity just click it and delete waypoint activate fly vectors to intercept now after there is this point i i do it left over here it's uh, telling you fly vectors to intercept if you want to keep it like this you can keep it like this because after this point if you are flying in the nav board in the autopilot the plane will actually stop to follow this um, flight plan so then you have to switch to the heading mode in order to fly this approach what i do is this i delete this again so that i can just uh, carry on with the flight in the nav mode and that's it now you can see this flight plan is there without any discontinuity and without any issue or uh, flying to vectors so that's it now in the uh, flight plan in this option you will also see altitude and speed uh, cruising speed uh, it's right now set to 230 uh, but change it to 200 because 230 is too much I can maybe keep it at 210 but I usually do it at 200 now the cruising altitude you can again change it it's a short flight I will be climbing up to 20,000 which is flight level 200 or you can just change it to let's say 25,000 if you want press enter on your keyboard and that's it so I will just keep it at flight level 20,000 enter on my keyboard and that's it and uh, fuel and weight it's already there no need to do anything over here now for the takeoff you can see uh, the takeoff uh, speed rotate is 82 and 140 knots it is the speed at which the plane will climb to this uh, given altitude transition altitude for Lahore let's enter this uh, let's uh, click this option for OPL get the charts and uh, for the departures 18 left and uh, yeah this is the one so just zoom in and you will see it's 4000 so let's uh, change it to 4 1 2 3 because this is the altitude at which you will be adjusting the altimeter and uh, activate oh it went back again that's it 
any change in the flight plan? No, it's okay. So transition altitude is also set and uh, for the descent. Now this is uh, uh, basically uh, for your descent. You can uh, again, uh, let me just show you one more thing. For the departure, you can again set, uh, select the set from here. So instead of doing it from here, you can also do it from here. And now these are your speeds uh, for the for the landing and uh, transition level will also be changed for Istanbul International Airport. It's 15,000. I think it will also change over here. Yeah. So I'll just keep it at 4,000. Activate. That's it. Once I'm near Istanbul, then I will also change it to 15,000. That's it. So configuring uh, this FMS for the flight is a bit simple, but uh, if you know how to enter the flight plan, you can easily do it. War ground, Pilatus Alpha Papa. X-ray Kilo Quebec with Yankee request taxi for takeoff departing straight out. Okay. Now getting the clearance for the takeoff. I can just uh, change the frequency because I will not be doing this flight with ATC. So everything is good now. Uh, so this is how you start this plane uh, from the cold and dark state. Now I will be doing this flight and I will make another part of this video in which I will tell you how to uh, fly this plane on autopilot. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add uh, anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.